Hey guys, James here again. Now, some of you that may follow our Facebook page, um, you know, others if you don't, maybe check it out. But those of you that have may have noticed recently um, that I've, I've done something a little bit unusual. I fitted an Elcan to my impact. Now, it might seem a little bit weird. A few people have said, you know, what are you doing? It's four times mag. It's not enough magnification. Are you mad? Um, so I just wanted to address some of the questions, some of the comments and stuff, just in this short video. Now this isn't going to be massively in depth, um, but you know, it, it's here for, for the world to see. Now, the reason that I put this optic on, on this gun was one, because I was able to source it um, and yeah, it's arrived. But also because I was, I was finding that we get really occupied and preoccupied with constantly going further. My goal recently has just been to go and keep going back and back and back to the point that I was doing, like last week, we were shooting at 220 yards unsupported with the FX crown at a, a balloon. Now, that's great, but the thing to remember and that I need to remember is where I make my money that actually buys these guns um, is actually short range shooting. Now, I, I work as a pest control marksman. That is my job title. It's my role. It's what I get paid to do. You know, it pays the bills, it pays for the guns. That is, is me through and through. Now, in my line of work, you know, I'm often working in buildings, um, around industrial areas. And I mean, the furthest we get to shoot a lot of the time is like 20 yards. I get excited when I get a 20 yard shot because for in a pest control, that's long range. Now, I've had times before where I've had to gain access to buildings through like ladders and scaffolding. And then when we've got in, I've had to take my scope off my gun because it just it, the, the pigeons were literally like five six yards i mean some even closer than that and having the scopes on really hindered everything um so i needed something that was low magnification that i could crank up just that fraction just to use at longer ranges um and if needs be have the facility for some really close up and personal shooting now i was able to source an l can as you can see fit on the top of the gun here um and apart from looking really damn good it's perfectly practical for what I want. Okay, so let's have a look at a few of the features of the Elcan. Now, as I say, it's a one to four magnification scope. Really easy to change just with this lever that's on the side. You're on four times magnification when the lever's forward, and then bring it to the rear, and it goes on to one mag. Now, there's no need to refocus the gun at all. Now, one thing that we find a lot of work is if you've got a beams inside a supermarket, for example, and there's glass on the ceiling, if a bird lands on that beam, you don't have time to go, right, focus the side wheel, what's the range. You just want to be able to point and shoot. Now, this will do that. It's got a, essentially an infinity to beyond um, uh, focus, so you can just point and shoot, which is part of the, the reason for doing that. Now, it does have an RMR on the top of it. This, well, it was just on the on the gun, or, well, on the scope, shall I say, when I, when I acquired the scope. I could take it off if I want, but to be fair, if I've got a pigeon at four or five yards, using the RMR might be a better option than using this. Um, it's an illuminated ret on the RMR, and then also on the main reticule itself, it's illuminated through this adjustment dial here. So for low light shooting, you know, often in buildings, if you're aiming at a dark background or there's just low light, if it's poor light, you just need that little bit of illumination just to bring the ret off the back of whatever you're aiming at. Um, so that was a, a kind of a key feature that I needed. So that's why we went for this one. Now on this side, it's really easy to take the scope on and off. It's literally this levers. You pull them forward like so, take the scope off, clip it back in place. There's no POI shift. It's absolutely fine. The rattle that you heard there was the hammer, not the scope. And yeah, it's spot on. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna zero the gun. The next few clips that you'll see will be us zeroing at 20 yards. Um, and then having a go at 20 yards and then the final clips that you'll see just after that are going to be shooting at 100 yards against a six inch metal disc on four times magnification all right so just to prove that this isn't just a one trick pony that can only do close range we've also gone further out so yeah 100 yards will be coming up after the short range stuff so if you want to watch that stay tuned Just to the right. Oh, yeah. So if I go left, was that 
How many clicks did up did you go then? Three. Try one more. Alright, click. Okay, so to zero in initially, actually that went all right. You see we've got the confirming shots here. Um, that was three shots there and one there. And then I just placed two shots here just to make sure. Now for what I want, for all intents and purposes, that's gonna be more than enough. Um, and as you might have just seen the little celebration there, there was a fly there, but the, uh, the gun is now zeroed sufficiently that I can shoot flies off paper. So um, yeah. was that? That was tie number four. Ah, I've, I've been overholding. Yeah. Alright, it was a fluke. Okay, so that's it for the moment. Now I will go into more in-depth stuff uh, with the Elcan. I'm gonna test it a lot more before I take it to work, just to remake sure that this setup is gonna work. Now, they're not cheap optics, not by a long way. However, it's not a cheap gun. It's a very accurate gun. Um, so only the best for the impact. So if you wanna see more from us and wanna see the future tests coming up, then feel free to subscribe. Uh, the little button should be down there somewhere. We will have plenty more coming up. If you've got any questions, any comments you want to ask us anything, then feel free to put them below. Anything that I can respond to, I will. People hurling abuse or just writing random stuff, I, I can't reply to that. But just give me time, I will reply to everybody as soon as I can. Now, as I say, you want to follow us on Facebook as well. I mentioned at the front, this has been kind of showcased there previously. Um, just type in replica reviews, you'll find us, we're really easy to find, and we are on all of the other unsocial medias. So anyway guys, less of me waffling, um, I mean, I'm amazed I hit anything like 100 yards with this, but, you know, you take the time, practice, learn your holdovers, and you can do anything that you want. So, that pretty much is our video complete. As I say, you want to watch more from us, feel free to subscribe. But anyway guys, until next video, thanks for watching.